Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2022 drama film called Causeway. The movie revolves around a soldier named Lindsay, who is discharged from Afghanistan and sent back to the United States due to an injury. In the first scene, we see her in a wheelchair being escorted to a caretaker's home named Sharon. It turns out that her injury caused a mild paralysis to Lindsay's limbs, so Sharon is in charge of taking care of her until she recovers and is able to do normal tasks again. From giving her a bath to feeding her and treating her, Sharon does all these things to help Lindsay's transition back to normal life much easier. A few days later, Lindsay also joins a rehabilitation facility and slowly begins to gain control over her legs and arms. The film then cuts to some time in the future where Lindsay has regained full control over her legs and arms. She has also learned to drive Sharon's car. However, she still hasn't gotten past the trauma from her time in the military. To cope with the pain, she wants to redeploy back into the army, but Sharon reminds her that she still hasn't fully recovered from her trauma and isn't fit for fighting in Afghanistan. So, Lindsay decides to go back to her mom Gloria's place in New Orleans to stay with her for a while. In the next scene, she leaves Sharon's house and makes her way to New Orleans, thinking her mom will pick her up at the bus station. Unfortunately, Gloria doesn't show up, forcing Lindsay to head to her childhood home herself. A few hours later, she arrives at the house, but it is locked and no one is home. Luckily, she finds a spare key lodged between some bricks and enters the house. Lindsay goes into her old room filled with pictures of herself and another boy, presumably her brother. Exhausted, she lies down on her bed and instantly falls asleep. A few hours later, Gloria arrives home with her boyfriend, Ted, and notices her daughter sleeping. She excitedly wakes Lindsay up and expresses her excitement at the reunion, but the latter says that she is tired, so Gloria, leaves her alone. The next day, Gloria heads to work early in the morning while Lindsay cleans up her room and decides to look for a job in the neighborhood. After a while, she finds a pool cleaning job and heads over to their office in her mom's old car. To her surprise, she is hired and asked to begin work the next day. Lindsay is ecstatic that her life is starting to make sense again, but on the way back home, her old car starts to break down and she almost gets into an accident. She takes the car to a garage to get it fixed and meets the owner, James Auken. After a bit of chatting, James advises Lindsay to leave her car in the garage as the repairs might take a while. Then he offers her a ride back home, which she accepts. During the ride, the two get along pretty well and it's clear they have chemistry. The next morning, Lindsay and her new boss head over to a client's residence to clean their pool. He teaches her the basics and orders her to start at another pool at another place tomorrow. The next day, Lindsay starts to clean the pool of a very posh residence and gets a text from James out of the blue. He reveals that she left her notebook in his car the other day and wants to return it. A few hours later, James arrives at the place where Lindsay is cleaning and returns the notebook. The two sit and talk for a while and she tells him about her time in the military. Lindsay then asks whether or not he can swim, to which James reveals his prosthetic leg. However, he doesn't mention how he lost it. One day during Lindsay's regular checkup with her doctor, she reveals that her discharge was actually due to a brain injury. She explains that she worked with the Army Corps of Engineers and specialized in water systems. She was actually deployed to work on a dam in Afghanistan. However, the convoy encountered an IED, causing the explosion that led to her brain injury and eventually led to her being discharged from the military. The next day, Lindsay researches the criteria to be met for redeployment back to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and decides to get gym equipment to train in order to pass the physical fitness test. So, she calls up James to help her move the equipment to her home. Afterwards, the two head to a local restaurant and it is revealed that James was once engaged. A few moments later, an obnoxious guy tries to hit on Lindsay, but James sends him off, claiming that she is his girlfriend. The two laugh it off, and Lindsay then discloses that she is actually attracted to women. However, this doesn't have any effect on their friendship, and the two leave the restaurant. They decide to sit in a park where they smoke weed, drink beer, and talk about the past. As they start to open up about their lives, Lindsay reveals that she has a brother, Justin, who was a drug dealer and a junkie, but doesn't reveal his current whereabouts. She also tells James about her time in the army and how her difficult childhood forced her to leave New Orleans. In turn, James discloses that he was in a car accident with his sister Jess and nephew Antoine. The unfortunate event led to the loss of James's left leg and the demise of Antoine. He tells her that ever since he has been living alone and Jess has also moved away from the city. Afterwards, Lindsay drives a drunk James to his house. She then decides to stay for a bit and have some more beer. There, James further reveals that Jess, him and Antoine all lived under the same roof and did everything together. 
As the two continue to talk about their past, James suddenly offers Lindsay to move into his house as he knows that she feels suffocated living with her mother. He says they can have coffee together, smoke together, and can heal from their past trauma together. However, Lindsay doesn't give him an answer, and after a couple of hours, she heads back home. Back at home, she finds her mother sitting in the living room all alone. Then the two start to bond and get into a small pool outside the house. Gloria asks her why she left New Orleans to join the army, but Lindsay is hesitant and doesn't reveal the reasons why she did so. Gloria attempts to make up with her daughter and tries to make amends with her, but she soon gets distracted by a call from Ted. After she heads back inside, Lindsay is all alone, which further makes her feel unwanted and unloved. After that day, Lindsay spends the majority of her days cleaning pools and exercising. She gradually begins to recover her physical health, and with this, her chances of getting redeployed. During Lindsay's next medical appointment, the doctor reveals that she is almost fully recovered from her brain injury. Excited, Lindsay expresses her desire to rejoin the military. However, the doctor reminds her that she has to recover her mental health as well, and refuses to sign the letter for her release. The same night, Lindsay and James hang out together and discuss their future. Out of nowhere, she invites him over to one of her clients' homes the next day so that they can get high and take a dip in their swimming pool as the owners are away from town. James agrees to come and drops her off at home. The following day, the two smoke weed, drink beer and chill by the pool while James is reluctant to get in because of his leg. However, Lindsay manages to persuade him to get in and the two have fun in the pool. Later at night, James finally spills the details of the day of his car accident to Lindsay. He reveals that he had actually let Antoine sit in the front passenger seat beside him, despite Jess's disapproval. This further makes him regret his decision, and to this day, he blames himself for his nephew's death. As James gets emotional and starts crying, Lindsay tries to comfort him. When nothing works, she kisses him, but immediately withdraws and apologizes for it. Lindsay says she did so because she felt sorry for him, and this leads to a heated argument between the two. The argument escalates to the point where both of them start to insult each other's past trauma, which reveals new information about them. Lindsay's brother is revealed to be in prison after being caught dealing drugs, whereas James admits that he had a couple of beers the day he crashed the car. After the quarrel, Lindsay returns home and mulls over her future. A few days pass by and she goes to her doctor with the hopes of him signing the redeployment papers. To her dismay, the doctor is still reluctant to let her go, so Lindsay informs him that she has been dealing with trauma ever since she was a little kid. However, she refrains from revealing the details of her trauma to him. Despite the doctor being worried that things might go sideways in the future, Lindsay manages to persuade him to sign the waiver, which clears her for active duty again. Later on, Lindsay picks up her car from the garage and is shocked when she is informed by another mechanic that James had done the repairs free of charge. This makes her realize that James actually cares and respects her, and also that she cannot mistreat others because of her own problems. The same day, Lindsay decides to visit her brother Justin in prison before deploying back to the military. At the police station, it turns out that Justin is deaf and the two use sign language to communicate. Their emotional interaction makes it obvious that Lindsay has never opened up about the mental issues she was facing back when they were kids. Then, Justin tells her that he is better off behind bars as he feels safe and doesn't trust himself enough in the real world. As they catch up and reminisce about the past, Lindsay's eyes are suddenly opened. Afterwards, she begins to contemplate her decision about rejoining the military, as doing so will only make her carry on with the unhealed trauma, which may lead to tragedy. So as a result, she decides against deploying back into the Army Corps of Engineers and considers a life outside the battlefield. The next day, Lindsay decides to put things right with James and pays a visit to his home with a few beers in hand. She then inquires if the previous offer to live with him still remains and also reveals that she is not going to war just yet. Lindsay mentions that both of them can help each other heal from their past mental issues and that's why they should stick together. Following this, she starts listing all the things that they can do while living together, just as James had mentioned before, which makes him consider letting her move in. However, before he makes the decision, the scene cuts to the final credits. 